Understanding, have a cross to bear. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase that you might have come across. Have a cross to bear. This expression holds a deep meaning and is used quite frequently in English conversations. By the end of this video, you'll understand not just what it means but also how to use it in your own conversations. So, let's get started. The phrase, have a cross to bear, refers to having a difficult or unpleasant responsibility, problem, or burden that one must handle or deal with. It's something personal and often not something that can be shared or passed off to someone else. The origin of this phrase is deeply rooted in the Christian tradition, referring to the cross that Jesus was forced to carry on his way to his crucifixion. It symbolizes bearing one's burdens with patience and resilience. To fully grasp this expression, let's look at some examples. 1. Even though she smiles, everyone knows she has her own cross to bear with her health issues. This shows that the person is dealing with a personal struggle that they have to manage themselves. 2. Balancing work and family life is a cross to bear for many parents. Here, the phrase illustrates a common struggle many people face, highlighting the challenge of juggling responsibilities. Understanding these examples helps us see how the phrase can be applied to various situations, emphasizing personal challenges or burdens. When using, have a cross to bear, in conversation or writing, it's important to remember its seriousness and depth. It's most appropriate for situations that truly are burdensome or challenging. Here are a few tips. Use it to express empathy or understanding of someone's difficulties. Avoid using it for trivial matters, as it might come off as insensitive. Combine it with supportive statements or offers of help to show solidarity. I hope this exploration of, have a cross to bear, has been enlightening. Remember, language is not just about words but the stories and emotions they convey. Whether you're sharing your own, cross, or acknowledging someone else's, this phrase can add depth and understanding to your conversations. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video helpful. Keep practicing, and see you in the next one.